welcome to CORE. My name is Kat Thomas, and today we've got a wonderfully fun 15-minute ab exercise workout. Now, you can follow along with me. Each uh, little exercise is about a minute long, and we go through about 11 exercises total, where you can just sit back, watch, and laugh as I struggle through some of these. But uh, all designed to ignite the fire, Build the core, strengthen self confidence, and your awareness of how beautiful and strong your mind body breath connections can really be. Okay, so coming down to your mat, let's get right into it with our low boat crunch. So rolling back, draw the navel in, feet are pointed, hands are parallel to one another, fingers spread wide, and bringing the heart center all the way up. Inhaling as you lift the heart center towards the knees and exhaling down. Keep the navel drawn in. Our core is where our self-awareness, confidence, and beauty resides. So let's bring ourselves to the mat and get a little stronger together. And here we're gonna row the boat. You can make little figure eight moves. Keep the sit bones rooted down, legs lifted. Just row yourself to shore. Heart center coming up. Making sure that you're engaged in mind, body, and breath. Using the inhalation and exhalation to guide you. And lower down, feet flat on the mat, and then soles and heels together. And little crunches up. We're going to strengthen through that abdominal wall with little crunches, hands behind the head, not pulling on the neck use for balance. If you need, just put a little pillow or a blanket underneath for added stability, honoring your edge. We're connecting to our willpower in a healthy, strong way. Using this 15-minute app will help reinforce the subtle core. Inspire 
all things that connect with us, including our own mind, body, and breath. And for 15 minutes a day, what a way to do it. Stay connected, mind, body, and breath. Take a deep breath in, place those beautiful arms underneath the body, sit bones, just propping the glutes up, stretch those legs sky high. We're gonna point the toes as we lower and flex as we lift. Lower back engage to the mat. Inhale, lift, and exhale, release. Now, if you can use that Ujjayi breath or Oceanic breath, breathing in through the nose and back out through the nostrils, go ahead and try that. And with that breath, we're trying to really have the same length between the inhalation and exhalation. To add a little spice here, as you come down towards the floor, just spread the legs out, keeping the toes pointed, and then lift straight up. Or you can just keep lifting straight up and down. We'll be adding a little more spice here, if you'd like. So, lifting the pelvic floor up off the mat, gently coming up, flexing those feet as if you wanted to touch the ceiling with the bottoms of the feet. And then moving down towards the mat, legs together. You can spread the legs out or leave them together. Just remember to use your breath and as gracefully as you can. Just lifting the hips up. Okay, moving into our Navy Seal Kicks. So hands are still underneath the sit bones, pointing the toes. You can lift the shoulders off the mat for a little added spice and flutter the legs back and forth. Now with the seal flutter, you can speed that up to add a little more intention towards the core. Keep the face relaxed as you breathe. You're doing great. We're almost there, halfway through. So as you build your strength, you should feel a surge in your core. Stay with it. Release the arms down to your sides. Feet come flat on the mat. And we're gonna roll the body up and then roll it back down. And we're gonna reach side to side. So walk the feet in a little closer towards the sit bones, palms facing up to the ceiling, and just rock back and forth, reaching side to side, keeping the breath flowing. Energy building, core engaging, mind at ease. All right, legs come up once again, flex them to the sky, arms are flat, just little pulses up. And then we're gonna lift one hand at a time. Try and touch those toes. Come all the way down with the shoulders and then lift, touching towards the opposite foot. Sit bone engaged. You can go slower or faster. Honor your edge. Ignite the power within the core. Slowly bring the knees in, give your body a nice little hug. And bring the hands gently behind the head and bicycle, drawing one knee in at a time, touching with the opposite elbow, coming all the way off the mat with the shoulders, 
pointing the toes and stretching them out. So as you extend through the legs, really feel that connection, feel it engage as you point and reach. Accentuate the extension. Move through the extension. Be the extension. Embrace this fire. Embrace this transformation. Hug the knees in and let's roll up onto the mat. We're going to get into our plank. Come into dolphin pose. Shoulders distance apart. Rock the heart center up and over the fingers and rock side to side. As slow or fast as you'd like. Really glue those hands and forearms in. Don't let the elbows roll out. Keep moving, keep breathing with this. Inhale back to the middle and exhale on each side. Driving and rooting down through the forearms. Fingertips spread wide. Almost there, you're doing great. Lower the belly down to the ground, soften to the back of the feet. Come up into Sphinx Pose, halfway raise. Take a deep breath and exhale, forehead down. And inhale, come up to high plank, flat back. Adjust as needed, bring those heart center up and over the fingertips. You're going to draw the right knee to tap the right arm and left knee towards the left arm. If you can, bring it up above the elbow, the outer tricep. You can go a little faster, bring a little extra steam, a little extra spice here. Try not to rock back and forth, keep static through the hips. We're gonna add a little more, all right. Mountain climbers in plank. We're gonna go opposite knee to opposite elbows. Let's pick up the pace here, double time it up. Level up here, rock that core. Connect mind, body, breath. This is all you. You excel as you do. Take a deep breath. You've done it and lower the full body experience down to the mat. Stretch those wings out, spread the fingers, reach in front. Come up slightly as you inhale and exhale, drop down. So, spider cobra. Good. Inhale, come all the way up and exhale, release to cobra. If that's a little too much, go into baby cobra one more time up. Hold at the top for a few breaths here. Slow down that heart and rock the body back to child's pose. Breathe here for a minute. Honor your body, honor your life, honor your edge. For you are beautiful, creative, and full of wisdom. Namaste.